hello guys welcome back to another video on this channel today we're going to focus on the rear of the vehicle you know we even installed a bumper we installed headlights we installed a whole bunch of modifications but really nothing in the rear today we're going to be installing a rear diffuser hopefully it looks good hopefully it's great but it is from ebay so i'll go to details right now so if you've been on the market for rear diffusers for 2010s to 13s you could see how difficult it is to find a good rear diffuser you know i was asking people about their diffusers that look that look mean so i would ask them you know how how good it was and they will all tell me the same thing the fitment is off but if you make it fit it's going to look awesome you know so i've seen that all across youtube all across facebook so i decided you know pull the trigger get something from ebay something cheap because if all the fitments are off might as well uh make a gamble but with an ebay product that you know this diffuser was about 260 dollars it's still pricey and i'm gonna go over the details and it's not in the best condition it wasn't sent in the best condition at all uh, i'll put some pictures of it was sent so i couldn't unbox it for you just because i was i was trying to make sure that the diffuser was okay the tabs were good but other than that i mean i'm still going to install it for you all right guys well this is the diffuser so first thing you notice laying it flat in the table you see this one's flat you kind of have a little curvature right there and this one don't touch anymore so it's obviously not aligned properly but i mean that's what that's why you put screws right there so there shouldn't be no problem there it is painted and you can kind of see a little bit of defects in there but this is the bottom of the fin so you're really not going to see anything of this so it is like a black matte finish so that's at least i don't have to paint it if i do want to paint it i could do it glossy but i'm still not sure but just a disclaimer before you paint any parts in any cars you want to make sure it fits that way you don't void any warranties that you may need so this is the front it's pretty simple now the back let's go ahead and take a look there now from the back it's a little bit off from here you could just looks almost like it's handmade i'm not sure in that but you see how it's not straight it goes up down up down almost like they cut it with the with the box cutter or something i mean they're not the straightest edges and i just hope the tabs do align they do have tabs and just the way they shipped it i mean i don't know when i see some reviews where they do break on shipping so i mean it's kind of like a risk but I honestly didn't think they would ship it like that. I thought at least it would be in a box. Now here you could tell that it kind of broke and they try to fix it. But you can't tell on this side so it's it's good. But I mean I don't know why they would do that you know. But again it is this is probably the worst eBay part I've bought. So I just hope it fits good. And like I said there is going to be some modifications. Like there's no tabs right here like in the OEM. But I'll try to show y'all if I do decide to drill, because once I drill, I can't return it. So if, I, if I'm if i confident that I can make it fit, I'll make it fit, and then I'll show y'all how I did that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, well, that's it for this portion. Now we can go ahead and install it, remove the old one, and then swap this one in. And I'll go through the modifications that you need to do in order to make it fit. All right, so we're done here. Get those screws. these tabs all right so all the screws are taken care of now I'm gonna use these to try to take this trim off something like this but yeah I took all the screws in the bottom all we gotta do is these all right so it's in there all the tabs are in just know that this right here there is a gap this I'm gonna try to get that a little bit in. And here, here's another gap. That's just how the bumper is made. Now what we gotta do, drill holes in here and try to zip tie it in because there's nothing holding it but tabs right now and a screw right there and a screw over there. So I'll just get under the car. Okay, so this is a perfect example. The screw goes in here, but there's nothing here. It stops. So right here, you can see there's a little hole right there. I'm gonna drill a hole through here and zip tie it there. That way it stays and no air gets in it and tries to rip it. It's hard to record under here, but so yeah. Thank you. 
All right, so this is the final product after the zip ties. I'm probably gonna get a toothbrush and just wash this right here. Be careful with the tools, the prying tools, because you might get a little bit of paint. So that's unfortunate, but be careful and you'll get it without scratching your paint. I'm gonna get a toothbrush and wash all that. But if you can, clean it before you installed it. I should have done that instead. All right guys, well, nice to have y'all back. It's about three weeks of testing, of holding it off, bumps and whatnot. And I mean, same thing, I cleaned the tip since then. You have your, your gap right there and your gap right there. Other than that, it's a pretty good fitment. You do see it kind of go out this way, but I'm sure if you slide 3M tape in there, push it in there, that would be more than enough. So yeah, I did three weeks of testing instead of one that I usually do just to make sure the tabs don't fall, you know, after posting a video or review and then it just falling off. But no, it's three weeks of normal testing, having to take care of it in any way, just driving it like normal. And yeah, I mean, the only thing I'm gonna modify that might not be on the video is 3M tape right here, pushing it in, and then that should be good. I just wanted to test it natural. So yeah, I mean, I really like it, how it looks. Compliments the louver really good. As you see, it looks amazing. I'm happy with the results. And I mean, if you don't mind that gap, is the money's totally worth it. Just make sure you do get black zip ties because you might be able to see them if you do get a different color. But other than that, I mean, this is pretty much it. Right guys, well this is the end of the video. If you haven't checked out my Instagram, I'll leave it down here for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you to the next video.